Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this coming soon design to your Blogger website. Now, I have already shown you how to design this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So, if you want to learn how to design this from scratch, you can watch those videos. I will leave the link in the description. And I will also leave the link of the source code so you can just copy and paste the code. Now, this is the Blogger website where we're going to add our design. So, let's get started. <laughs> First of all, let's go to the dashboard of our blogger website. Now we need to have the design for all the pages in our website. So whenever someone goes to any of the pages in our website, we should have the coming soon page displayed. So it shouldn't be displayed to a specific post or a specific page. It should be displayed whenever someone goes to any page of our website. So for that, we have to edit the theme. So you have to go over here to theme and then click on this arrow and go to edit HTML. Now this is the theme code. So everything you see over here in our website is a result of whatever code we have over here. So now what we need to do is we need to remove all this design from this theme code and we need to add the design of the coming soon page. Now the first thing you have to do is take a backup of this theme code. So just select everything by pressing Ctrl A and just copy everything from here and just paste it and save it somewhere in your system because we're going to make changes to our theme code and we're going to remove almost everything from this theme code. And then we're going to add our coming soon page design. And now once the launch date of your website approaches, you can go ahead and copy and paste the code from wherever you have saved it and paste it back over here and then save it. All right, once you have taken the backup of your theme code, you can just go ahead and continue with the customization. Now, the first thing you have to do is delete everything inside the C data. So it is inside the B skin. So just select everything from after this open square brackets. So I'll just start selecting from here and uh, let's go to the end of the C data. So let's scroll down. And this is where the C data ends because here you can see we also have the end of the B skin. So let's select till here and now I'll just delete it. So here we can see now we have this empty C data. All right, once you've done that, you can just go ahead and select this B template skin from here and delete that as well. So I'll just fold this and I'll just delete this from here. And we can also delete the default markups from here. So I'll just fold this and I'll just delete this. And then also delete all of this code inside the head tag. So here we can see this is the end of the head tag. So now we can see in our head tag, we have these three lines of code and also the B skin. Right now, the next thing we need to do is delete everything inside the body. So I'll just select everything from here and let's scroll down. And uh, let's select everything till the end of the body and delete it. All right, now the first thing we will do is add the CSS of our design. So inside our C data, I'll just make some space over here. And let's go back to our source code. And I'll just go to style.css and I'll just copy everything from here and paste the CSS over here. And then we also need to add the link of the font. So let's go back and let's go to the HTML file. And here we can see this is the link of the font. So I'll just copy this. And I'll just paste it over here in the head tag. And I'll just bring everything inside a single line. And now since this is an XML file, you have to make sure that wherever you have the ampersand symbol, you have to replace it with ampersand AMP semicolon. Right now, let's add the HTML. So let's scroll down and let's go inside the body tag. And here in the body tag, I'll just copy the HTML. So let's go back to our source code. And I'll just copy everything inside the body. So I'll just start from uh, this division with a class of my container and uh, copy it till here. And uh, let's copy and paste it inside our body tag. And now here we will add the JavaScript. So I'll just create a script tag. And now let's go back to our source code and I'll just copy the JavaScript from here and uh, I'll just paste it inside the script tag. And now we have to make some more changes in our theme code. But before that, let's go ahead and click on save. And here we can see we have this error on line 266. So here we have line 266 and here we have this less than symbol. Now, since we are using XML for this theme code, you have to make sure that wherever you have the less than symbol, you need to replace it with ampersand LT semicolon. And now let's click on save. And here we can see we have one more issue that it says we did not find any section in your theme a theme must have at least one B section tag. So let's create a B section tag over here. So I'll just go to the top. You can add it anywhere inside the body. So I'll just type B 
section and I'll just give it a class of main and I'll just close it over here. All right, now let's click on save. And now we can see our theme has been successfully updated. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to add the images. So here we can see we have added some images in our design. We have the image of a clock and also some other images over here like the Twitter logo, the Facebook logo and the Twitch logo. But right now in our blogger website we don't have any folder called images and we also don't have any image with a name twitterlogo.png. So we have to upload this image somewhere and get the link and add it over here. Now you can upload this image wherever you want and just get the link and paste it over here. But I'll just upload the image inside a page of our website. So let's go back and let's go to pages and let's create a new page over here. So I'll just click on new page and here we'll just upload the images. So let's click on insert image and click on upload from computer and let's click on choose files and here are all the images we need. So let's select everything and click on open and let's select all the images and click on select and here we'll just select original size and click on OK. And here we can see we have the links of all the images. So if you go back to the compose view, we can see that here we have all the images and the first image is of the clock and then we have Facebook and then we have Twitch and Twitter. So let's copy the links of these images. So here let's go back and let's go to the HTML view. And this is the link of the first image. So let's copy this. And I have opened the theme code inside a new tab. So let's go over here and let's scroll down. So here we have the link for the clock image. So I'll just delete this and paste our updated link. And next we have the Facebook image. So let's go back and uh, let's copy the second link. So this is the second link. So I'll just copy this. And uh, let's paste it over here instead of the Facebook link. And then we have, I think it is Twitch. So let's go back. So here we have Twitch and then we have Twitter. So let's go back to the HTML view. And this is the third link. So I'll just copy this. And let's paste it in place of the Twitch link. And lastly, we have the Twitter link. So this is the link. I'll just copy this. And I'll just paste it over here in place of the Twitter image. And I think that's it with our design. So let's go ahead and click on save. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now here we can see we have the coming soon page displayed over here with the exact design that we wanted. And once you get to the launch date of your website, you can go ahead and change all this code back to the original code. And if you scroll down, we can see that in our JavaScript, we have this launch date. You can go ahead and change this date to whatever you need. And the timer will change according to the date over here. So that's basically how you add a custom coming soon page to your blogger website. And that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and also subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.